Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right. Well, we're going to do another episode of Power Gaming with the Doctor. Today we are going to talk about the Wizard Arcane Traditions, the one that is called Divination. And so not very many of you think that this is useful. But I have played many characters where this is extremely useful, and it's extremely useful for one particular ability that the uh, this arcane tradition gets. So it's called Portent. You get it at second level. When you get this, you get to glimpse the future. So whenever you finish a long rest, you get two 20s, and you roll them, and you record those numbers. What you want with these are you want really high numbers or really low numbers because you can replace any attack roll, saving throw, or ability check made by you or a creature that you can see. And you have to do this before they roll or before you roll, and then you replace a roll in this way. And you can only do it once per turn. You have to do another long rest before you get the use of this back, and any unused uses are gone. So that, let me repeat that, you can replace any attack roll, saving throw, or ability check made by you or a creature that you can see. So that includes a friend, and that includes a foe. So here's what's really important. Like I said, you need really high rolls or really low rolls. Middle of the road rolls, like anything from 9 to like 12, is really not what you're looking for with this. All right, so to replace attack rolls, um, you would use the high rolls for yourself or, more importantly, for your companions or party members. Um, that way you ensure that, say, the fighter can hit or the paladin can hit um, or the monk can hit, uh, whoever um, is, is doing a two-hit roll. You can even replace uh, uh, spell check, uh, spell attack rolls as well. So low rolls we call the panic button defense rolls. So these are panic buttons for you. And you replace your opponents with those low rolls there, such that they would miss. I have a very nice rogue wizard ranger build that uh, the, the, ro the wizard part of the rogue, because he's mainly a rogue, is a second level wizard. And he has he's divination and he has portent. And he uses these low rolls a lot for protecting himself so that he does not get attacked. All right, so replacing saving throws. If you roll high, those can be used for you or, more importantly, companions or party members. Again, this is a panic button defense for you or your companions. You say you got the Barbarian, and the Barbarian gets hit with uh, something that is triggering a Charisma or an Intelligence or a Wisdom saving throw. That's going to cause that Barbarian to be charmed. Well, you can, you can say, no, 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 you're not going to make that roll now. Or you can say, what's your bonus? Here, I'm going to give you this high roll that I have so that we can hopefully overcome the fact that you might get taken out of combat. Now, low rolls are for your opponents, and it's really important. So there are a lot of spells, and I'm talking non-damaging spells. So we are, we're not talking damaging spells. We're talking non-damaging spells that will shut combats down pretty quickly um, or tip the scales very drastically in the direction of your party. And if you can ensure that one of those spells gets cast and the opponent fails their saving throw, that's even better. So we want those ones through about four or five. That's what we're really looking for for this. If I can roll two one through fives on my portent dice, that would be that's awesome. I love seeing that. The, the DM hates it. Um, so let's look at some of the spells that this can affect. Remember, you can replace any saving throw made by a creature that you can see. All right, so here's a list of spells that synergize very well with Portent. So I listed them out from 1st level to ninth level, and I, uh, I wrote down the spell name and the class. So we have things like Ensnaring Strike. A creature fails that saving throw, they're restrained. Hideous laughter. A creature fails that saving throw, and they fall prone, um, and they're incapacitated. So that that everybody has advantage to hit them, and 
they don't get out of that. If you if you do damage to them, then they get another saving throw. Uh, but they uh, they're pretty much incapacitated and prone. They're not attacking. They're not doing anything. Blindness, deafness. If you blind an opponent, then they are. It's very hard for them to act in combat. Whole person is probably the best one. And then the next level up from that, the fifth level version, is hold monster. These, if if your opponent, a person, or a creature with the hold monster fails their saving throw, they are paralyzed, meaning they cannot do anything. They're not getting any any more saving throws until the end of their turn, and every attack made within five feet of them is an automatic crit. So uh, that's really important. So you, you do this, it shuts the big bad down, the big bad fails at saving throw, and... Uh, all, the barbarian and the fighter and the paladin all go up and just crit, and you know, the paladin can crit automatically and throw in some of his, the smites that the paladin might have, uh, extra attacks by the fighter and the barbarian are all crit. So, I mean, it's really important. Levitate. So some, some, some people may not think levitate is, is really uh, useful, but for opponents that can't fly... And if you levitate them straight in the air where they have nothing to grab onto, so they're basically just suspended, they're fair game for any ranged attacks. Maximilian's Earth and Grass, another one that um, restrains. Suggestion. Uh, suggestion causes a charm. Web um, will restrain. Blinding Smite, another blinding one. Hypnotic Pattern will lock things down. Slow. Slow is actually a good one. It doesn't completely lock things down, but it it punishes the opponent very much. Banishment, if you're fighting any kind of uh, extra planar creature, banishment will end that combat instantly. Black tentacles, another restraining. Confusion locks them down with something. Resilient sphere, uh, that sphere can be moved around, and you can move it to some place that's not so nice, and then end the spell. Uh, polymorph, that's another one. Polymorph into a toad. That toad can get picked up, Polymorph lasts for an hour, and that opponent now can be moved to some place that's not so nice, like lava or anything like that, and then you just end the spell, they turn back into normal, and then it's done. Watery Sphere is another one. You pick them up. That can be moved around. Dispel Lever or Good is very much like Banishment. Dominate Person, again, Hold Monster, that's the other one of these. It's key. Eye bite can be used to lock uh, opponents down, mass suggestion, mental prison. All these, you notice that the, the theme in all of these is locking the opponent down with a spell where you're using portent to cause them to fail a saving throw, and then they're locked down. Now, the only issue with some of this is boss fights or legendary creatures, because they have legendary resistance— and with legendary resistance, you have to kind of pay attention to how many times they use it. The most I've ever seen a creature with legendary resistance is three times. So they automatically make a save, whether they fail it or not. So you could say, oh, portent, you fail. And then they pass because of legendary resistance. So you have to kind of pay attention a little bit, metagame. Once you figure out that they have legendary resistance, then you need to really pay attention. So this doesn't really work for that, but... A lot of these legendary creatures will come with um, ancillary uh, minions that also can be shut down. Some of these spells like Mass Polymorph will shut down all the minions. Um, uh, I think there's a Mass Suggestion, another one. Shut, shuts them all down. Eye Bite will shut something down every round. So, I mean, you can, you can, you can use Mass spells and you can shut one creature down with the Portent. So that's what I want to present to you. I've used Hold Person very effectively, and I've used Hold Monster very effectively. We had a, a, a combat where we were fighting a Purple Worm. Uh, we were, I think we were about 14th level at the time, and uh, we had a Cleric in the party. Uh, he cast... Uh, actually, it wasn't a cleric. It was oh no, he had he, he had hold monster, but he had it from one of his domains, and um, and he cast hold monster, and I had a two on one of the dice, and I said okay, here you go, fail your save, and then we were able to take out that purple worm pretty effectively. Um, 
my guy's a rogue with the ranger, and he's got booming blade and a bunch of dice of sneak attack. So all of that got doubled because every hit on that uh, held purple worm was doubled. And we had a barbarian, and same thing, uh, tons of attacks with rage and everything else, and and every every hit was a crit. So I mean, it's it was really effective. All right, so that's all I've got. I thank you for tuning in, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave one.